Hey everybody, welcome back. So, uh, it's been like two weeks since I recorded some of this because I had to play the game on fast forward for, oh god, I think it was like five hours. And you can see everybody's level is 10 now. And I think some of our equipment's a little better and we have tons and tons of empty jars. And I made some health potions. So, I just sat in town on fast forward waiting for them to restock um, potions of wisdom, bought them, drank them, healed, waited for them to restock again. I kept doing that over and over to get everyone to level 10. Max level is 13. Because we're not strong enough to progress with the game right now. Unfortunately, this game near the end becomes an enormous slog. So let's just see if we're strong enough to take on these guys now. I don't remember how strong they are, but I guess we'll see. I think there's some zombies up here. I think that's what it was. Yeah. They look so stupid. Okay, they're level seven. But again, strength of things in this game is deceptive. Also got to get used to how awful the mouse in this game always feels. Okay, I have a total barricade or? Yes, okay. And someone brought up a really good point in the comments. I just totally didn't even think of it. That'd be super useful. Um, someone was saying, hey, why don't you use your anti-plant sword to get the ultimate, uh, I believe it was the shield, the hero shield. I didn't even think of doing that. I bet you we could probably do that, and that would get us the best shield in the game. Now right, let's aggro them. Uh, why did you stop? Oh. There we go. Yeah, keep fighting. It's okay, you can just keep on missing, that's cool. All right, I think we'll do just fine. Trying to keep things going, everybody. If you're wondering, like, is it cheating by the... Oh, shit. I didn't, uh, didn't know they could actually reach through there. Okay. I really hate that some of my guys just aren't even fighting. Come on, guys, pick the same target here. Oh, oh, this is a mess. Do you guys want to attack or something? Okay. I hit the A button so they'll just find a target now, so I'm just on health potion duty. Oh man, there's so many of them. Again, we're a higher level than these guys, too. I haven't had to have any potions yet, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, this game becomes a little slug near the end. If you're wondering, like, is it cheap to just sit around and have uh, potions of wisdom over and over? You know, go around, teleport to cities, and collect tribute every once in a while to get the money to keep buying the potions? The game kind of encourages you to do that. It's what you're supposed to do, as far as I can tell. It's part of the incentive of having a good alchemist, just so you can just do that. Because my god, do you not get good experience from just killing at a certain point. Like, look at that. That was enough experience to get one point in vitality. Ugh, it's brutal. Get the strength and dexterity, yeah. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, you guys all stand over here so I can see. Well, at least I didn't need to have a potion. Did anything get close to breaking? Yes, of course. My axe keeps getting really damaged. I'm pretty concerned about that, actually. Just a lot of gold. All gold. Okay, I've got them set to follow me. I didn't figure out where the buried rock is, but I figure we could always just get one of those uh, copper mirrors of the mage, or I think there's a potion that does the same thing as well, like clear eye drops or something. And that should unbury it, then we can just walk around and find it. That's probably a way better solution. Assuming that's how that works. Uh, somebody in the comments section is pretty sure that's how it works. But again, everything in this game is a little bit of a mystery. Alright, that's the whole path? Okay. Is this an all-new area, and do we see anything? Okay, I don't see anything, but flying dudes could come at us. We've seen that before. Where are we on this horrible map? We're a Pine Grove village. So we're in a village right now. Is this the only way in and out of this village? Okay, let's drop a save. They're on follow me, okay. Yeah, it's straight up a village. Okay. Is this the last place on the map we haven't been? No, there's some stuff over here we haven't been to. There's probably one location right here. And we didn't go right here, although I know exactly what's there. It's just a bunch of enemies, and we don't have a bridge built right there. Um, 
Oh, and there's a spot right there we haven't been to. I wonder why we never went over there. Oh, you know what? No, that's yet to go across the bridge for that. So over here must be the bridge location for that. So this is probably a village right here. Near middle camp, and then this one is middle camp, so near upper camp. So this must be upper camp right there, and then, okay. So we have basically everything on the map found. Hi, I'm random person. Girl. Do you have a quest for me? Random adventure. Heard there are hidden treasures in the northern lands. Paths are made for walking. You found a, tr a treasure right in the middle of a path? Maybe? Hidden away in the forest or in swamps, better search. Okay, well, that's useless information. Okay, well, what's the quest for this place? Whoa, 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 Why are you attacking? Yes. Greetings, Jarl. Why are you unhappy? What happened? What? Sorry, I think he's giving me a quest while I'm under attack here. Okay, hold on. Let's load. Do we have a race they don't like? So this is a, another mechanic they don't really tell you in the game. Uh, I've had it happen before where I want, to, like, a village was like, I want a blacksmith and then we'll join you. I'm like, okay, well, I'll go get you a blacksmith. And I got it from a Viking town, and me showing up with a Viking alone made them all attack me. But we're all Slavs, as far as I can. Oh, hey. Level 7. They could be tough. I'm guessing the quest is going to have to do with these guys then. Gleb the Child. What? They have killed my friends and kidnapped me. Hold on, I'll save you. Please kill the ugly monsters, I'm so afraid. Um, I'm guessing if I save the kid, that's what's gonna get me the town. I mean, that feels like a safe bet. Um, here's what we'll do. Orbs of jumping cost basically nothing now. We have essentially infinite gold because we can just go around and collect tribute if we need to. So let's just go back to springs. We'll speed up. Is anything gonna attack us? No, okay. It would just be ants, which is really not that big a deal. Yes, y'all. Let's heal. Thank you for the free heal. You, uh, magic orb of springs. Thank you. Yes, We're gonna buy another orb of jumping from him. Being able to teleport to springs, by the way, is super fucking useful. Because, uh, okay, well. I, I really don't need to... Oh, right, I need to repair my gear, too. Forgot I should do that before I go breaking an axe. Especially such a good axe. Alright, uh, out of my way, out of my way, out of my way. I need to see... Okay, what am I getting? Uh, gold and a shockingly good sword with a really high deterioration. Like, it's not gonna break easily. Holy shit. 83 strength needed, so I'm not going to be using that anytime soon, but our pack mule guy can carry that for now. Let's jump to springs, even though it's right next to us, just because I want to go repair the gear real quick. Is there a new ant? Oh, God. Just fight you. There. Which one drew his axe? There we go. Um, Repair stuff. Right, and uh, because we have a really good blacksmith here, and I've been upgrading the blacksmith a lot, he won't ruin our gear when he fixes it. I don't believe he has any new equipment, though. Yeah, this is all stuff that was there every time I checked. I'm listening, Jarl. And heal, because I think I got incredibly slightly hurt. Springs. Yes, Jarl. Okay. I could buy a few poison cures before I do this, but... I don't think I'll need to, because each one will probably poison me. And then I'll just grab the stinger it dropped and use it with a healing salve to make a poison cure. Uh, because the versus specific enemy items are so incredibly powerful, I don't think we're really going to have much of a problem. Uh, okay, how do we get to this? Where's the entry point on this again? I don't remember if it's, like, southeast or if it's really far north. The entry point to the whole gauntlet of horrible plants. Oh, hey. Goddamn. At least they're weak. There we go. Um, We actually damaged our X slightly. It's not the biggest deal in the world. Uh, you know what? I remember. Yeah, the start of it is way up here past the peanut place. How could I forget that? I've been farming oil here, like, the whole game. Been doing it a lot off-screen, especially. 
Okay, so if you remember what I said really early in the game, it makes sense, there's the shield, it makes sense to fight these guys at range, like with a bow, since they can't walk, uh, but the game actually just flat out doesn't let you, because it would be so cheap. So, uh, we're going to want to fight one-on-one, -on -one probably. Okay, so I got the sword of versus carnivorous plant. I might need to get it repaired at some point during this whole thing, because it is a low duration or deterioration. It really should be durability, but as you've seen, the English isn't the best in this game. Um, I mean, I could drink a potion. Sorry, I got a little bit of the hiccups. I could drink one of my potions. That reminds me, this wine. Um, when I was teleporting around collecting tribute once, one of the Jarls started talking to me like I could give him wine as if it was tribute from a witch doctor that I think he had already made peace with. It's like a quest that's out of order and didn't trigger and yet I can finish it. I, I thought I'd save it for on screen. Wait, I have a blueprint of the ancient pyramids? I don't even remember getting that. I probably should use it on someone. I just don't know where. Don't know who, what village needs it most. Okay. How poison am I going to get? Let's, let's do uh, that. Annihilated it. Okay, a poisoning of one, so we're barely getting hurt. This might end up being really easy. Did I not pick that up? Right, because I had my inventory open when I did it. Okay. It's okay. I don't need every single one of them. I can one-shot these guys now. Okay. I find it funny that I need a jar for the poison to mix it. I'm, like, pretty sure if I were to put the stinger... Let's just test it. If I put the stinger directly in a healing salve... Weird mixture. But, if I do... Give me a jar. If I put the stinger in a jar, it's poison. Mix that with a healing salve, it's poison cure. How that works, I don't know. Uh, but now we have a poison cure, and I don't think we'll ever need beyond that very weak poison cure for this. I'd like to save as many of these as possible for easy uh, potions of wisdom. Yeah, normally this is way harder, but we have the weapon for this, and we're a pretty high level. Got a ring? Wow, that's an incredible ring. 40... Eight armor. That is really good. Wow. That's almost as good as my shield. Well, I'm going to have a better shield in a moment. Oh, that just led to nothing. Okay. I got they're just following me around. Blocking my path. Come on, guys. Okay. Um. Okay. Give these arrows to him for now. Clean up my inventory. We're barely taking damage. We are getting damaged over time from our poison, but it's so minor. You know what? Let's just kill all of them. They're barely giving me experience. Look at this. We're at 80. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did our sword break? Holy shit. How did our sword break? Man, our sword of carnivorous plant is broken. Oh, it's... It's really wearing a stand to kill them, uh... Gnarly fuck. Man, that sucks. Uh, I could load and get it back, but I don't think I'll ever need it again after this. So I think we'll just do this and keep an eye on this. Man, that sucks. That sword rocked. Oh, dropped a healing salve. Okay. Um, we don't have an inventory space, but we can come back and get the rest of this later. Just drink, you know, weak one. Don't need the poison cure yet. We'll probably have our pack mule start picking these up on the way back. Okay, this, for some reason that sword deteriorated way faster than my axes. Even though their deterioration was about the same. Again, axes durability is just not the best English. The poisoning's at 10, which is not bad. I could easily make more poison cures, though. We're almost at the end. If I can get away only using one poison cure the whole time, I will. Which it looks like I'm going to get away with it just fine. Yeah. These are all only level 5 plants. They just poison you something fierce. Okay, how heavy is this? Um... Wait for... 
I still need to get that orb of the moon thing, whatever it is. The thing that makes it he can carry 10 more weight. Because my god, is that good. Um, these weigh almost nothing. Uh, I'm mostly weighed down by potions, actually. Right, I can drink this now. Okay, we got rid of all of our poison. Sweet, we're not getting hurt now. And, uh, okay, we can carry this now, yeah? No? My maximum weight is plenty for this. Is the weight not correct on this? Is that a typo? Oh my god, it gives you 300 strength. What a ridiculous item. That's incredible. Wow. Yeah, it does require 100 decks and 95 strength to carry. And I, isn't, doesn't your strength just max out at 100 anyway? Maybe strength can go past 100. Um, but if it takes 95 strength to, to wield... If I were to drink a potion, a full strength potion, that might be enough to start wielding it. Uh, might be. Okay, we can just start passing stuff off to our other guys. You can have that. Uh, okay, what what actually weighs something that he could carry? I could just hand him my shield. There we go. Okay. Uh, wow, really? I <laughs> Bracelet of negative 40 damage. Woo. Um, see, the crap thing about having my other guy manually pick all this up, you know what, have him hold the shield for now. Really, I still can't. The fuck sense does that make? Uh, I picked that up, or, yeah. Hold on. What is going on with my weight capacity here? Is it literally an item capacity? Is there an item capacity in the game? If so, I wasn't aware. All right. Well, let's start doing that. Um, that'll clean it up. Well, if you're able to use this shield, then, well, it's better than yours. There you go. I guess you'll use it then. Um, I didn't know there was an item capacity in the game. I genuinely never ran out of inventory space. Uh, I thought it was weight, and I thought there was, like, some kind of glitch or maybe, like, a magic effect on me or something. That, uh, or like a potion effect, like maybe, maybe drinking a poison cure lowered your strength temporarily and I had forgotten because I so rarely need poison cures, you know? All right, well, keep getting me 15 strength poisons. If you're wondering why I bothered picking up that terrible bracelet, by the way, um, it'll probably sell for a little bit of gold. Again, gold's infinite at this point, so it's not that big a deal, but, you know, it's nice, I guess. Okay, uh, up here, do we have all the rest of them? I think there's the one near the beginning we missed. I just don't even have them set on follow anymore. They're annoying me too much. Okay, yeah, there's that one. So we're just gonna jar. There we go. Well, we got a lot of poison out of this, which is pretty nice. Are we out of jars? Okay, we'll, we'll throw one over from our pack mule guy. Our pack mule guy is actually really good in combat now. There we go. Um, oh god, we're gonna need home brews for all of those if we want to make those into... Oh Jesus, that means oil. Okay, we're picking up some of these. I'm putting my guys on follow again because they might need to carry some of the peanuts. Oh god, yeah, they're gonna have to carry some of them. Oh man, this is a mess. Um... Well, it'll be worth it, I swear. It'll save me a lot of time on potions of wisdom. Just got it. Oh, he's full. Okay, hand it off to whoever can carry it. And this will be worth it, and we'll be right by our main town. We can hit them up, get some healing, get some repairs. And I can check the potion and see if that gives me what I need. Okay, that's the last of the peanuts that were on that little path there. It's so weird walking around without an axe. I feel like I'm at the very beginning of the- or without a- I'm holding an axe. Walking around without a shield. Feels like I'm at the very beginning of the game again. It's weird. Okay, uh, right there. I'm listening. Give me my heal, thank you. Oh, peanuts. Yeah, want I'm listening, to grab Mark. that in a moment. Uh, fix all my stuff, thank you. Yes. Uh, do you have any tribute for me? Thank you. Needed that money. Okay. 
Wait a minute. This guy. Oh, maybe that village attacked because they don't like the Byzantines. I hadn't even considered it, but look at this guy's feet. He's wearing sandals and he has black hair. He's Roman. I didn't even put that together. Oh, his name. Yeah. Yeah, he's Roman. Um, That might be what they didn't like. I would say it's because we walked into town with weapons out, but that's usually not a problem. Uh, walking out of town with weapons, unless they have a guard who says, hey, don't bring weapons in town. Okay. Um, right. Let's just make these potions real quick. Uh, I need a jar, which means I'd need to hand off a peanut. There we go. Uh, give me some jars. Okay, jar, peanut. Oh god, this is gonna be lengthy, isn't it? Unless I hand off some of these poisons. Okay, he's holding two of them for me, so give me two peanuts. So you can see a little bit of the alchemy. This is the kind of stuff that I usually off-screen. Wait, I don't want to mix the oil and the poison. Not sure what that would make, actually. Let's test. I think that's clear eye drop. Yeah, that's clean eye drop, sorry. Um, we could use it for that quest, couldn't we? Yeah, we could use it for that quest. Let's let's have one clean eye drop. That's fine. Just you know, I I guess like you know I can get as many uh, wisdom potions as I want. I just need to give it enough time. So I guess. Okay, that's that. I need to make a home brew, so we'll take the five and the 10 and the 15 and then a poison, and that's one elixir of wisdom. Oh boy. Okay, we actually need to get more healing herbs too, don't we? Come on, grab that fast. Because we need some 15 concentration healing potions, and we don't normally make those because 10 is all you need for a full heal. Uh, that's all of his peanuts. Okay. This is a brutal process that I should probably be off-screening. I'm just so sick of off-screening. So much grinding. That, and then that. Okay, sweet. That's two elixirs of wisdom done. How many poisons do we have left? Two? We have, uh, two. One's a five strength and one's a fifteen. Okay, you know what? I'll finish those off off screen. Listening, I'd like to just sell this bracelet. See, it actually sells for a decent amount considering how shit it is. So we'll just sell that off. Save game. And will drink this potion be enough to hold my badass new shield? Uh, our strength is 58. That can't be right. Should have raised a lot more than that. Hold on, load game. How much is everything else raising by? Hmm. I'm not sure why it didn't raise more. However, we can probably do something with this. What's every strength item we have? That's a plus two strength. One. Two, come on. Four. Eh, that's not enough. I think if we had any items we could carry that would give us a whole bunch of strength. Hmm. I might need to go around from merchant to merchant. Yes, y'all. And just see if anyone's selling like strength bracelets, necklaces, and stuff. Right, I, I wasn't looking at necklaces there. Someone also pointed out uh, something I didn't think of. You remember when we killed that whole town early on? Um, right before we started going across and teleporting into other regions, uh, someone pointed out, "Why don't you just use a word of uh, words of resurrection?" I didn't realize words of resurrection doesn't just revive your people; it revives everybody on that entire map, enemies included. Which means you could take over a city by conquering it, then cast Words of Resurrection, and everyone will get back up. That is incredibly useful. So I think what we're going to do is buy us one of those. We're going to teleport over here. Oh, we, we already have an orb jumping. Okay. Uh, we're going to go to Pine Grove Village, who seem to not like us. We'll uh, save... 
I'm gonna give this another go of trying to walk in and seeing how it goes. Uh, give me my, yeah, I want my shield back. Uh, Cause I'll need it for this fight. I wanna have a shield. Okay, uh, just manually tell them all to walk just anywhere so that they're not following. And we'll just see if I get attacked. Okay, I'm standing in town, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I think it's the Roman that they didn't like. Yes. Use Jarl, uh, and let luck always be your companion. Uh, luck is usually on the side of the stronger man. You'd better tell me everything about this village. That's hostile sounding. Peaceful village, and our main activity is game hunting. Everyone is happy except me. Why are you unhappy? I have a son, a nice, cheerful boy. I love him so much, but our village has recently been attacked by some fearful no uh, monsters, and my son was kidnapped. That's what I figured would be the quest. Can you stop them? It was late last night. Half the guards were sleeping. Uh, the attack was so fast and unexpected that we didn't even understand what, hap what had happened at first. Several peasants disappeared, and my son was amongst them. Who attacked you? Have you seen them? No, the fight lasted just a few moments. First, everything was fine, and within a second, there were bodies everywhere. Pain, blood, and cries of the wounded. I've sent search parties, but they have found nothing to do. He's like, he's like a one-minute walk outside of town. But I believe my son is still alive. Um, you are wrong. I'm sure he died long ago. Um, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna search. What's his name? Oh yes, uh, I've lost my mind from grieving for my loss. His name is Gleb. Well, uh, he, they, the monster should have kidnapped you for giving your son the name Gleb. All right, we're gonna go save the son. See, this is why they they can't judge all Byzantines by the Roman armor they wear, because we're gonna go save this guy's son. All right, set them to follow me. We might need healing during this. We don't have the superior positioning that we had when we fought the zombies. Um, but zombies get back up a few times, I think, whereas ghouls don't. And I believe it's ghouls up here, isn't it? Yeah. You know what? This will probably be pretty easy. Uh, we're all repaired and stuff, right? Yeah. Okay, save. Get everyone ready. Move in a clump. All right. All right, everyone's fighting. This isn't even many enemies. Easy. Guys, over here, just so I can fight in a place where I can see the loot. That was really easy. Uh, how do I, it's right click them, right? Sorry, I was trying to remember the awful party controls in this game. Okay, that was all of them? I guess so. It looks like I could probably dig around there maybe. Well, you know what we could do? Save and... Okay, I didn't see anything up here. So if that works the way we think it works, uh, there's nothing there to grab. So we're just gonna load again. Hey, Gleb. Finally, I am free. These ghouls held me captive for several days. Why do you look like you're zero years old? You're like nine months old or something. I'd already lost all hope. Hope is always the last uh, thing to die. You are lucky that I got here in time. They weren't even doing anything. You could have just walked away. My name is Gleb. I am the only son of the village elder. My father will surely reward you if you ever happen to visit us. Thank you very much. Now I have to return home. I wish you a safe journey and take care. All right, uh, we're going to go back. Let's make sure that the Byzantine guy doesn't walk into town with us until after we talk to the guy, because once we're the Jarl, um, they shouldn't attack us unless we attack them. Even then, they might not attack us. Um, but yeah, it seems to be the Byzantine guy they didn't like. They're not following me? That's fine. I mean, I guess I don't want them to. Yeah, that's one of those things you can only learn through trial and error that, like, you know, certain villages will attack people of certain races. Um, I just stumbled across it. I didn't know that was a mechanic before. I stumbled across it when I tried to bring a uh, Nordic blacksmith yes, to a Slavic town, and they weren't happy about it. And you don't know what towns won't accept what races either. Everybody's either a Slav, 
Nordic or Byzantine. Thank God you found him. I'm so happy. Uh, I think everyone accepts Slavs as far as I know. I think that's the only race everybody's okay with. Because we're supposed to be on Slavic lands. Uh, thank God you found him. I'm so happy. Um, glad to see unification of your family. Hope you don't have any reasons to be gloomy. Oh, uh, today is my second- what? Oh, today is my second birthday. We'll make a great party in your honor. Uh, I will be ha I will happily be loyal, your loyal servant. Okay, um, I'm gonna guess today is my second birthday. I'm gonna guess that's some kind of Russian, uh, adage for saying, like, I'm so excited. It's like a second birthday in the year. Not literally he's saying, oh, by the way, I'm two years old and that makes me glum. Um, I'm guessing that's an adage that doesn't translate well. Okay. Uh, build something, yeah, build a marketplace, and build a barracks, because you don't have either, and that makes you, that makes you stupid. I'm listening. Okay, uh, so we just got another village. That's awesome. Just checking what you sell, but it's looking to be, yeah, exact same stuff as my village. Okay, well, we got another village. Uh, that's some good progress right there. Oh, holy shit. You can, like, watch it being built. That was weird. I'm not sure I was supposed yes, to see that. Uh, yeah, heal us, please. And are you any good at making potions? Fuck no. Okay. Good to know. Uh... Okay, well, you know what? I, I know this episode is gonna go a little bit long, but I want to do this before I forget. Let's give you guys an extra good episode, an extra long episode, because I think we're pretty close to the end of the game at this point. Because I'm like 99% sure I know where both Wolf and Constantine are, and I know where all the keys are. So if we're tough enough to get the keys, and I think we might be at this point. One, the key at, at Springs we for sure are tough enough for. The key at the Byzantine camp, I'm right here. Yeah, the key at the Byzantine camp, I'm a little skeptical about. And then there is the moon key cave, which is right by Eric. And I'm pretty sure we're strong enough to beat Eric and uh, Constantine. And I, I know where Eric is. And I'm like 99% sure I know where Constantine is now. And then all we need to do is go back to like, I think it was like here or here or something. One of these witch doctors buy things, whatever, over here to go to the centaur. Oh, and Black Pine Forest merchant right now is selling a duplicator. We can use that to get past the centaur without wasting the dragon amulet. So I'm like 99% sure we're basically ready to beat the game. We just need to collect all the things we need and maybe level up a little more. Because I do remember it's quite recommended that your team is at at least like level 12 with really good gear for the final boss. Especially considering we're a merchant, which means we use vitality weapons. And uh, yeah, the hero's axe is after the final boss. It's fucking useless. You get it at the worst time. Whereas the hero's sword you can get before that. Um, which means if I can hold the hero's shield before that... That'll mean I have enough strength to hold the heel's hero sword, and then then I've just got really fucking awesome gear. Um, right, rambling, rambling. I want to go right here. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna see if this works. So I don't think it needs to be literally what you're seeing. I think it's just the entire map. Oh well, it's it's made the items already on the ground glowing, which is not at all useful. Um, don't tell me that's all it did and it didn't unbury anything. Because some people were saying it's the same thing as the mirror, but the mirror unburies every item that's buried on the map. Oh, fuck all these guys. Um, yeah, guys, get over here. These are level sixes. I'm sure we'll be fine. Just, just everybody attack. Oh man, that noise is obnoxious. The fuck? No, guys, don't don't go over there. I'm sure they were gonna go fight zombies again. Negative strength, positive armor, neither one's good. Yeah, here's the witch doctor's old house that he was talking about in his riddles. Um I don't remember if he said a direction that he buried it in. Like, I feel like he buried it around here. But I could be wrong. Let's, where's the spade? 
There it is. Uh, the shuffle is what they call it. Um, I can never remember if it's right click on the ground to use it or left click. It's really confusing. I'm like 99% sure it's right click. Just, just in case, I wanna... It just feels like it would be right here. Maybe a little lower? Nope, okay. Um, I'm not seeing anything. There was that left path I could go, like left and up, but I don't think it's that way. Is it like here? Why it would be buried, I don't know, but you know, it just feels like it would be. Sorry, I'm just like clicking around in places that look like they stand out a little bit. I might just need to figure out where it is off screen for you guys. Save you the headache of watching this. Ugh, yeah, and I, there's like no way it's out this far, right? Yeah. How would you guys just fuck the fuck off for 10 seconds? God, would you... Mm. Okay. Okay, one last little check. God, did I really waste that poison on this one? I could have used it on a, an elixir. Really? Did I do that? Come on. Come on. Okay, over here, over here. Come on. There's another path out here. Out this way. I wonder how long that potion lasts for. Is it up here somewhere? It's not like over here, is it? I'm seeing if it turns into the hand icon at all. Uh, not looking like it. God, you see this right here looks so suspicious, doesn't it? Because I don't think there's a rock that looks like that anywhere else. Uh... God damn. Yep, doesn't unbury things, so it is not in fact the same. Yeah, there's an item we found here earlier. I think it was those anti-shapeshifting arrows or whatever. So it turns out not all silver, arrow, silver arrows are good against shapeshifters, by the way. But I'm fairly sure there's a really powerful shapeshifter near the end of the game, so I am holding onto those arrows. Man, alright, I may need to re-get his clues at some point. It's a shame, because that will suck. Um... I actually need to re-find where the cave here is, because I don't remember. Where the cave is, and there is a cave in this zone, it's the moon cave. And that might be what we want to do next. How do we get over there? Okay, well, uh, he's going to take us there. Because I think that's where the moon cave is. My axe is getting a little damaged, I'm slightly concerned. Uh, oh, it's down this way? I didn't even notice this path. Is that it? Fucking, no, just grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Uh, I grabbed something. Don't know what. Nope, that was a misclick. I didn't mean to go on my map. Hold on. What level? Five? That's nothing. Okay, I clicked the follow button so my guys would show up. This healers works? Okay, I don't even need that. Oh, I'm really hurt. We're good. Hit follow a while ago. My guys haven't shown up yet. Oh, my axe is gonna break if I keep doing this fight. God damn, you're just showing up now? Well, they're just wandering now. They got stuck here, much like my own allies did. Um... Okay. We gotta be elsewhere. Yep. Give me a teleport, and then, uh, what was it? Magic orb of jumping. Yeah, it's worth buying. And springs. We're just gonna go repair and heal. Maybe sell some junk. Go away, ant. Okay. Uh, and I'll also drink those wisdom potions and let them wear off between episodes. Fix. Okay, no one's got anything that's busted. No. Good. Just making sure. Okay. Heal. Okay. Uh, next episode, 
I will have already drank the potions of wisdom and let them wear off so I don't have the strength detriment and I can level up a little bit. I'll sell off some of this junk, clear up my inventory space a little bit. And then we're going to say fuck picking up that little piece of rock, wherever it is. We're going to keep exploring a bit more. If we run across a copper mirror, then we'll come back to that area with it. Uh, but in the meantime, I think we're just going to try and find Constantine and Eric and do that part of the quest. Until next time, have a nice day.